Okay, quick video going through how to use the average binding energy graph to find energy release during a efficient reaction and also find the mass deficit as well as so for year 13 physics. So, got a typical uh, nuclear fission reaction here of uranium. Uh, we enter it, we throw in a slow moving neutron just to, to uh, upset that nucleus and to make it unstable and it decays into barium krypton, releasing three further neutrons which can go, then go on to, uh, to interact with three more nu uranium nuclei and cause a chain reaction. So the question that you'll usually get is estimate the energy release in a fission reaction um, such as the one shown there. Well we can use our nucleon graph, the, en the binding energy graph, to estimate the, uh, the amount of energy in mega electron volts per nucleon. So these numbers aren't exact, they're just estimates from the graph. Okay, so we see that the uranium-235 requires 7 mega electron volts per nucleon. Okay, and uh, barium krypton numbers there as well. So what we can do then from that is we can find the total binding energy of re the, reac the reactants. So the reactants here are the uranium. The nucleus on its own, the neutron on its own, uh, we don't need to worry about that because it's on its own at the moment already. Uh, we can't break that up into any other smaller constituents. So we have the 7, which is the 7 mega electron volts, multiplied by uh, 235, which is the nucleon number for uranium. Okay, so that tells us our reactants. Do the same thing with our products. We've got two products, <coughs> barium and krypton. Again, we don't need to worry about the, the neutrons because they are as small as they will ever get. Um, so there is no binding energy there for those. Uh, and we end up with that. Now what we notice straight away is there's a, a, there's a difference. So we appear to be getting much more energy out than we put in. Okay, so therefore the difference we know is 729 mega electron volts and that's released, released during one of those single fission reactions. If we want to consider that in terms of joules, well, we can convert it into joules like that, just using the uh, definition of electron volt. We can then convert it into mass. Either we can keep it as uh, joules per C squared, um, which is on the left, or we can convert that into kilograms using E equals MC squared. And that's how we'd find out the mass deficit and the total amount of energy released during that fission reaction.